My name is Josef Robakowski. I live in a tower block at 19 Mikovice Street on the ninth floor. Our building has no fewer than 20 floors. It is magnificent and it is situated in the very centre of Wuch. The whole surrounding cluster of tower blocks we proudly call the Manhattan of Wuch. I have been filming the great square of concrete under my window since 1978. It will be the hero of this film, along with its events and my neighbours, whom I like to watch from time to time, looking out of my window with a camera. My neighbour from the fourth floor, Mr Jan Narbut, with his dog called Black. We often meet in the elevator. Mr Narbut is retired. He used to work in film, so we have something we can talk about. And here is Black, Mr Narbut's doggy. But wait a minute. Some tramp comes straggling up to Black. An insolent homosexual. The white Renault is driven by Magosha, my wife, who has just walked our daughter Matilda to the kindergarten. Now she probably wants to buy something for breakfast in that big store on the other side of the street. We ought to bear in mind that she is parking where parking is not permitted. We must wait a moment. She's running to the store. One moment more. She's probably queuing now. No, she gave up after all. Meanwhile, a mysterious car parks nearby and follows Magosha in a little while. The rest of the action would take place a few minutes later when Magosha was ordered to pull over at the next crossing. She came back a whole hour later and she was very upset. Mr. Kazimierz Zwito from the sixth floor, probably the richest neighbour in my part of the building. He owns no fewer than two cars. This is Mr. Stefan Wojniak, a pensioner. He doesn't live in our building. He used to collect empty bottles, but I haven't seen him around lately. Perhaps something unpleasant has happened to him. Mihal Vajny, an electrician from the eighth floor, airs his limo. And this is my friend, Pavel Schmidt, a John Doe who might live in any other block of flats. He helps everyone for petty cash. He might move a wardrobe or buy milk for Mrs. Gavlikova. But most of all, he likes to play with the children in our concrete yard. May Day, 1979. My neighbour, Carol Pittis, knows that I'm making a film. 
he asked me to shoot him when he'd be marching in the parade with his fellow workers from their factory. He's in the very centre of the frame now. I can see him. He's waving to me with his balloon in a friendly gesture. Mr. Pittis will be glad that I shot him. Now, on the 19th floor, we also have a professional car rally driver, a Mr. Schwerzi, who shows his class to his neighbours when the first snows come. One has got to admit that he is good. Emilia Stanislavska, who used to teach Russian, lives in another building nearby. She's quietly returning home. I don't know this granny personally. I know she lives somewhere nearby, but I haven't seen her around lately. The young man passing across the screen now doesn't really interest me, but I watch with interest the Director General of the Wuch Meat Processing Plant, Mr. Yerzy Matusiak, from the 16th floor. I suppose he's hurrying to the Fabrichny station to board a train to Warsaw, where he must be going on a business trip in order to close some important deal. This car has been parked here for a very long time, for the second year now. It's autumn of 1980, the time, half past four in the afternoon, and my neighbours are returning from work. Marian Kowalski from the 11th floor is coming back home. He is a dental specialist and owns a beautiful garden near Wuch. And now an acquaintance of mine from the kindergarten passes across the screen. She is Emilia Zamorska from another tower block nearby. I like to watch that group of cyclists who gather every Sunday under our windows and under the command of their coach, Mr. Spack. Now they are riding to cycling practice out of town. Mr. Spack is leading the group of cyclists. Mr. Edvard Majwowski, my neighbour from the 12th floor, is returning home. We sometimes play chess together and he also doesn't mind a drink. It is the 20th of October, 1981, and Mrs. Irena Meisner, whose name day is today, is coming back from work. She lives in another part of the building. I'm unable to say much now. Here is Mr. X, who supplies my neighbours with illegal meat. Sometimes I also take the opportunity, but very, very rarely. Josef Ritka, an engineer, lives on the second floor. Mr. Yerzy Matusiak, the former director general of the Wuch meat processing plant, is coming back from work. My neighbours say that he defrauded the plant and will probably retire soon. This path was trod by the Catholics from our building because there is a big church in the vicinity. <coughs> and Mr. and Mrs. Janus from the 10th floor are coming back from church right now. I like to watch the so-called roundups that the militia arrange under my windows. Here's one of them. They've caught a foreign car but outside the frame, another militiaman has just stopped a Polish car. Let's see. He's hunted down a Shirenka. It must have been more suspicious.
This Sunday evening, the family of our superintendent, Mr. Solage, has gone out for a walk on our yard of concrete. Mrs. Janina Solage is walking little Irena and Yannick, who's still in a pram. Sometimes, simply nothing happens on this huge square. <coughs> but now behold, on the screen you can see the most beautiful girl in our building. She's Monica, the wife of a film director living in Wuch. I like to watch her. She's exceptionally graceful. And, well, she's got a beautiful dog. A moment of silence. Marek, the super son, is my favorite. Or, to be more precise, a friend. He often visits me when he wants to listen to music. I'm indebted to him because he had once caught a thief stealing the battery from my car. May Day, 1983. Times of crisis. Our beautiful square has been changed into a city parking lot. A terrible decision. Buses from all over Poland, Katowice, Białowieża, Katynia, Zamosk, Lublin, and other cities. People buy what they can in the nearby Central department store. Those two girls are from Kruzwiska. Their bus is gone. They've been looking for it in vain. I invited them to my place for tea. They were very tired. One is called Helena, the other Marissa. They write cool letters to me. There are militia patrols and militia raids somewhere deep in the city. Every few minutes one can hear shrill sirens and warning signals of militia vehicles driving at full speed. In spite of the general nostalgia, a merry orchestra passed once under my windows. It's winter people stay at home. Only my brother, Andre, decided to go sled riding. A bookkeeper, Felix Miodvi, from the 15th floor, is coming back from work. And those strange convolutions of the little Fiat are the work of Mr. Zenon Drevnal from the 14th floor. More militia raids. The square has lost its sense. Time passes slowly. It's 1983. I want to end my film. But I decide to wait for the next May Day. It's about a quarter to ten in the morning. This must be the parade security, or the first participants. No, it's security. But where is the May Day parade?
Ah, there they are. Although something's changed. They used to march from right to the left, and now they've switched from the left to the right. But this doesn't really mean anything. Six years have gone by. It's the 90s now. We live in the longed-for free Poland. But our parking lot doesn't prosper too well. Some of the neighbours have got new cars, like Mr. Yeplonsky, Mr. Struess, Mr. Klimczak. But the best one belongs to the son of Mr. Kapusta from the 16th floor. Everyone wants to do all kinds of cleaning jobs. They sweep, repair, paint, saw, and even cement. There is a lot to do, especially in our concrete yard. Oh, sorry, our concrete parking lot. The old decision Colonel Mikalski made in the times of martial law bears evil consequence. Nothing happens in our desolate parking lot. It is grey and dull. There are very few clients. The only thing I remember is a terrible snowstorm, a real cloudburst. It must have been about four years ago. Snow kept falling for three days and nights. Now, beyond the parking lot, I can see my old friend, Mr. Jan Narbert, the pensioner, taking a slow walk with his new dog, called Bingo. Undoubtedly, the traffic in our new avenue has grown heavier the avenue no longer bears the name of the poet, Adam Mikovitz, but of Josef Piotrowski, a marshal. Times have changed. Postscript. And what is happening in our square now, in March of 1999? It's a completely new situation. A beautiful foreign hotel is being built here. A five-star hotel. The construction is underway. And, probably, in a little while, the beautiful view from my window will encompass only a fragment of the hotel wall bearing the inscription, the end of the film. <laughs>